Hello there everyone in the world, I am MMA Genius and today I'm going to try to untangle this ball of yarn that is Anthony Pettis and Jose and if you don't know how these two ended up being booked to fight each other, I made videos about that, the links are below, that was a whole other ordeal as well. Alright well everybody's worst fear happened, I actually even wrote in the comments of my own video that I made, I said I hope none of these two fighters get hurt and that's exactly what happened. Anthony Pettis injured his knee in training but the good news is it is not severe it does not require surgery and the UFC is coming to Milwaukee which is where Anthony Pettis was born and grew up Anthony Pettis went to his doctor in Milwaukee and he said that he will be ready to fight on that card Dana White on the other hand said no you will not be and I'm gonna fly you in to Vegas to see one of our doctors so now, for the first time in Jose's career, he will fight a zombie, Chan Sung Jung. And then Ricardo Lamas is like, wait a minute, I was supposed to fight Chan Sung Jung, aka the Korean zombie, on July 6th at UFC 162 to determine who will fight Jose. Then Dana says, I know Ricardo, but you are in the same position that a lot of fighters have been in as well. And then Anthony Pettis says, well, you know what? If I can't make it to that Milwaukee card, I want to fight the winner of Jose versus Korean Zombie. Or I want to fight Benson Henderson. And then TJ Grant is like, wait a minute, I'm the one who's next. And if you're wondering, who is this guy Pettis to ask for all these title shots? Well, to start, he knocked out Joe Lozon, the first person to ever do that. He's the only person to ever TKO Donald Cerrone. I saw the fight, I was there. You can see the links to my videos below. I filmed part of his walk-in and part of his walk-out as well. And he is the last person to beat Ben Henderson who currently is the champion. So the question is, what comes next? Who fights who? Is Anthony Pettis going to fight for a title when his knee is healed? Or is he going to have to fight somebody to earn a title shot? Whether it's in 145 or 155, what we do know is that MMA does not work like 1, 2, 3, 4. And the fans have a lot of say in who they want to see fight. 